Well, that sucks. Pulling out, completely disregarded how to uh, drive my truck and lift the curb a little bit. That's the fun in these wide wheels. What's going on guys? Another day, we're back in the Mega. We're going to install our cow tracks today. Uh, when we got the truck running, took it out for a drive, and um, because I had already taken the Longhorn traction bars off, I uh, didn't have any traction bars, and now with these new tires and obviously with the power it makes, it's not getting any traction. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this sooner rather than later, so let's do it. Only complaint I have so far is guys, it's 2022. Packing peanuts should be illegal by now. Anytime you get a box of packing peanuts, you know you're in for a mess. I fucking hate these. Moving on, we got everything unboxed. I will say at least it's packaged real well. Powder coat's real nice. But outside of that, we got our front bushings for the leaf springs. And then while we're here, we're gonna go ahead. I got the energy bushings to replace the rear bushings on the leaf springs. That way everything's nice and tight. But yeah, you got your hardware, your new U-bolts, obviously the rear brackets and then the front brackets and then your links. Nice heim joints, everything looks good. Now it's time to do the worst part of tearing the suspension apart. So I tried a method that I, one of my techs brought up and I think I've seen on the internet too. But basically you would drill through and it's supposed to like carry around. Obviously you've seen it didn't work. So just drilled a bunch of holes and then pounded it out. Then I just air hammered the race out basically. So yeah, now time to press in the new bushings. So this is my setup to press in the new bushings. Got these Harbor Freight it's for the fab guys what they use but it works fine kind of sketchy with the rollers but i don't have any sort of jacks that are adjustable so yeah now all we're gonna do press in the new bushings and then what i think i'm gonna do is on this back one when we redo these i'm just gonna try drilling a few holes and then just pressing out the rest of the bushing on these um, because i do need to save the inner race uh, for the new bushing so we'll go ahead and check back in after these are pressed in and bam installed a lot easier going in than coming out all right now for the leaf spring hanger i got a piece out of our our ball joint set that basically fits right around this edge on the other side socket and now we just press it out and just like that we got our leaf spring bracket together Got a plenty of grease, that stuff is sticky, let me tell you. Make sure you're wearing gloves when you deal with that stuff. 
But uh, now all we got left, this rear bushing, we'll go ahead and press out. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get rid of all these extra spring pieces except this last one because it's the uh um i did this the lazy way before because i didn't want to change my u-bolts so we'll go ahead and ditch all this get shorter bolts and then uh since we're using the new supplied u-bolts we can change it out nice solid bushing up there and then yeah then what we'll do is once it's all together hit it with a quick coat of steel it paint and throw it on the truck while it's drying we can pretty much just start on the other side and now for this bushing I've got to uh, keep the steel liner according to the instructions, so we're going to go ahead and have ourselves a barbecue. So just been letting this burn, been a few minutes. You can see just nicely eating away, end up with a little pile there, but yeah. I think I'm just going to do that on all the bushings for the next leaf that I'm about to pull out and just let the fire do the work. Oh, and it extinguished. So yeah, just keep an eye on it because it's a little, right now it's a little windy. So, had to reignite it once or twice already. So yeah, got it outside away from everything. So no chance of fire, but all right admittedly i'm an idiot just check the instructions and you're supposed to take this shell out so a good 20 minutes of wasted life so yeah now we'll cut that out and we will get the new bushings in all right so we'll call that a day we got the leaf springs back in we got the front brackets in we had the extra pieces of the leaf pack we got rid of, but uh, yeah, made good progress. Had to do a couple other things today so I couldn't get this quite finished up, but we will tomorrow. Um, quick note, easiest way to get these bushings out for anyone who wants to know that I found, I tried basically every way today. Take your air hammer, this lip that's on the edge of the bushing hammer it all in like this take it over to the shop press press it right on out super easy that way all right so we're back um got the lower brackets installed what i'm doing is i got them all the way kind of tightened up to where they should be and marking where i'm going to cut what i'll do is i'll take them off that way i can get a nice precise cut on all of them they'll all be the equal length um, just for my ocd um, I adjusted this one. It came on the bottom um, hole, but I was advised to try out the second hole. So that's what we're going to do. And then basically, once we get this all trimmed up, that will go there and we can set it all up. So should have this wrapped up pretty soon. And then this airbag, we're going to just cut out because the bolt cross threaded or something. So we'll just cut it here. We'll ditch the airbags all together. All right, so we got one side pretty much done, all ready to go, but I done messed up uh, one of the other U-bolts. I completely cross-threaded it, so sent my parts guy to go get another U-bolt, and we'll finish up the install on this side, get it on the ground, and get it all set, and that will be that. Yeah. All right, so all installed now i'm gonna go ahead and put it on the ground get the shocks back bolted up but uh yeah overall she's looking good super stoked to see how these work uh again guys um now that i've done it once i've learned the best way to do these bushings is just hammer out the edge with a air hammer and then press out the bushings from one side but uh yeah here's another view of those frame lift points that we're uh, making so you can see they even work with the uh, amp steps if you have them um, these are the first ones we made now we make them so they'll be flush with the frame you can see that this one's not so it'll be even better but yeah we'll go ahead and get it down get the wheels put back on and get rocking and rolling 
All right, now we're at ride height. We need to adjust the bars themselves. What we need to do is adjust the height to which these sit on the leaf. So right now it's actually under a load. So we're gonna have to loosen it up. Basically what we're gonna do is set it to about at ride height like this, we're gonna set it to about a quarter thickness of gap between the roller and the leaf itself. So like an actual coin quarter gap. So super easy, just uh, get a wrench on the bar, loosen it up, and then that'll change this position. So you can see literally a quarter's thickness of gap in between that roller and the leaf. So now we'll go ahead and tighten up all the bolts and that will be complete. All right, so we're driving the truck home and uh, drove past the cat scales. I figured, you know what? Let's see what this little girl weighs. We'll go ahead and get on the scales and see how we're looking. So we got our weight. So we're at a full weight of 77.40, and that's with tater tots here and myself on the uh, in the truck. So really, um, I weigh 240. Tatum here weighs uh, about 60 pounds on a good day. Um, so that puts us a little under, uh, right around 74.40. So actually a bit less than I expected, but you know kind of cool to know the race weight so that's cool yep my login is going camera going Shot of adrenaline, all right. <laughs> all right, guys, so as you just seen. We did a little bit of uh, testing after we got the cow tracks installed. Um, also been driving them for a few days now. Um, overall, pretty happy with them. Uh, I feel like there's a bit of a difference as far as the cow tracks versus the traction bars. Um, but only time will tell. It seems like she hooks harder, plants harder. But again, we're, we're, we also changed the tires and we're also comparing street hits versus uh prep track hit so you know either way we're gonna go ahead um our next drag race event that i know of that we have is like june first week of june so we got a little bit of time we're gonna refine the setup a little bit i might adjust the bars some more but we also have some front end work to do um i don't know if you've seen in the video um still getting a little bit of like a death wobble um we got ball joints i know i know we got to do i got one bad ball joint even though they're carly ball joints I got one bad one and unfortunately uh, I got kind of told to kick rocks as far as I can either buy a whole set or um, not get any and there's no warranty since I didn't purchase them so we're gonna go ahead and address that no problem either way but yeah guys so again thank you for watching I'm sorry for the bit of a delay in getting this video out and uh, I have another video lined up I'll probably do like back-to-back -back uploads this week but uh, either way um, Again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, if you have any comments, drop them down below. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this video. I'm going to leave it out with uh, basically our latest edition. Yeah. Yeah, I had to do it. So I'm going to give you this little clips of us installing it. 
Uh, it was a little too loud in the shop to do any commentary. So hope you guys enjoy and see you next time. Gotta cut a hole in this beautiful hood here. No going back here soon. It's gone. It's done. Complete. She's ruined. <laughs> oh. oh no. I put my kids in. Even though my kids don't like it. Too loud for him? No, my son, he just knows how I drive. <laughs> he sees like a big old straight coming up uh -huh. with no cars. He's like, don't do it, Dad. <laughs> I'm like, how do you know? <laughs>